welcome back to my channel this is swapna here hope you all are doing well it's been quite some time since i came in front of the camera so i thought i should come today and wish you all a very happy new year so today's video is going to be yet another african lady silhouette painting tutorial i know most of you guys enjoy watching those type of videos so i thought i should be doing more of such videos which even the beginners can give it a try without any fear so many of you are the ohp sheets that i'm using instead of glass so these are the sheets as you can see it's clear like glass but still i can use the same technique to paint on this and it's very easy to handle so that's the main thing that i prefer so today we will be painting this beautiful painting and i've kept now let's get started and this is a simple hand drawn design of an african lady if you wish to have this design please feel free to email me and i can send you a soft copy i'll add my email address in the description below and these are the glass paints that i'll be using for this painting i'll begin with transferring the design onto the ohp sheet using a black glass liner you can feel free to use any branded liners and paints according to the availability of the paints in your locality but usually for my paintings i prefer to use solvent based glass colors because it is much more durable I'll add all the names and details of the glass paints and other materials that I've used in the description below. If you are new to glass painting, I would really recommend to watch few of my previous glass painting videos where I'm showing even the basic techniques. So make sure that you start lining from top to bottom or from one side to another. Now I'll keep this for drying. Once the liner is completely dried, I'll start adding the paints. Here for the brown, I'm using a water-based glass paint. Since it's half dried, I'm using a toothpick or a skewer to spread the paint. Otherwise, this paint is really fluid and you don't need any other material to spread the paint. You can directly spread it using the nozzle of the bottle. As I mentioned earlier, feel free to add any colors of your choice, but make sure to give a good contrast to make it eye catchy. I always prefer to spread the solvent based paints using the skewer so that my brushes won't get damaged. These paints are from the brand Marabou Glass Art. While this painting is getting dried, I felt like adding few more 
details onto the side of this painting. So I'm just adding few freehand designs. This is totally optional. So just add it if you feel like. And once the outliner is dried, I'm randomly spreading yellow and orange shade on top of the design. Now the whole painting is completely dried and I'm starting to add all the details using the glass liners. I'll be using silver, black and copper shaded liners. So this is how our completed painting is looking. Now I am letting it dry thoroughly before adding the painting onto the frame. For this A5 size painting I am using a ready made frame which I got from home center. So while framing I will keep the burlap cloth as background. Since many of you had doubts about the burlap cloth that I am using, I thought of showing it. This is the roll that I buy from here. You can even buy it online. I cut out in desired size and over that I keep the mat and the cardboard. That's how I frame it and I'm so happy with the completed result. So we have just made a beautiful piece of art to decorate our walls. I hope you all will definitely try this out. If you like this video please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and if you are new here please consider joining the small creative family by pressing that subscribe button. And if you like watching these types of videos we have few more African lady silhouette paintings in this channel with gorgeous textures and beautiful designs so please do consider watching those as well i've put all those videos in the playlist and i'll also add the link in the description below 
so that's it for today hope you all enjoyed watching this and please don't forget to give it a try i'm sure you guys are going to love the process so have a creative day